guys, it's Cassie with Harlow's Earth and welcome to our third class of our six week series for our postnatal yoga and Pilates. Hope you're feeling really good and really strong this week. Um, your baby's at least two months old, so hopefully that means you're just being able to trust more in your maternal instincts. You, I know that you have your baby's best at heart and to really trust that and then to surround yourself with really the greater community of other mothers because this time is really special and we all really need a little support during this time. So make sure to find your support, find the, the community in others uh, in this great shared experience of being mothers. So today we're gonna work on our core, all of it, and get stronger and feel great and get a stretch and feel just more, more alive, more like ourselves, more at peace. So with that, let's begin. Grab your mat, grab some water, and let's start. Okay, we're gonna start with our roll down. Swing the legs around. Now if you have diastasis, put this on pause for a minute, grab your sarong, roll it behind your back, and then hold on to that. Otherwise, we're gonna roll down halfway, really making like a concave arch here and then rolling back up. Think of yourself like a nice crescent moon. Good, exhale as you roll down, flattening out that mountain range and inhale on your way up. Good, so we're maintaining that abdominal contraction here. We're never letting it go. We're really increasing uh, the space between the vertebrae and our lumbar spine. Looking good. Good, roll it down halfway and holds. We're gonna lift up the knees from here. So take your right knee up and then your left. Good, so keep your knees at 90 degree angles and make the action happen from the hips. Use those low abs, turn them on, pull it in. Doing awesome. You know what would make this more awesome? If we did it again. Here we go. Exhale, roll it back, inhale, come up. Good, you know what to do now. Really make sure you exhale, get all the air out, empty the lungs. Imagine when you go back, you pull your belly button all the way to the spine. So good. Just about there. Good, now reach back and hold. All right, our legs again, right foot and left foot. We are marching. Good, you can flex through the feet. See my cute kitty Shasta playing in the background. Okay, let's come on back onto our elbows here. Nice, lift your chest. Bring up both knees and your feet. If your legs are bent because your hammies are tight, that's okay. We're gonna make leg circles here. So inhale round, exhale to close. Good, now we are looking for perfect circles here. So go as slow as you need to go. You can make them very small or you can make them bigger as you feel comfortable. Reverse. So good, okay, release those legs. Rolling all the way down to the mat. Hug the knees into the chest. Give a big ah. Good, we're gonna stretch our cervical spine, which is our neck. So place the hands right behind the, your head and really cradle them. Take your chin to your chest and then try to push into your hands with your head. You're gonna feel the top part of your spine getting a nice stretch, elongated. Keep pushing into your hands. 
Good. Release. Awesome. All right, we're going to take those knees now up to a tabletop. So 90 degrees at the hips, 90 at the knees. And we're going to extend one leg at a time. Right and then left. Good. Really good precision as you reach out. If this is too tough, you can put your toes right up towards the sky as opposed to in front of you. Lift your head off the mat. Lift the shoulders. Keep going. We are going to do a whole ladder here. So we are climbing the ladder. Next step is going to be crisscross. Good. So we're working those obliques. Elbow to the knee. Exhale each time. Good. Okay, you're wondering what is a ladder? What did she just say? All right, we're gonna keep climbing that ladder. <laughs> Extend those legs. Don't worry, you're at the top of the ladder now. What this means is we have to do all those movements in reverse now. Good, you're at the top, and now we need to come back down. Obliques. Whoo! It's good when you're doing something long like this, it's good to distract your mind. You're thinking, what is happening? Good. And single leg stretch. Keep those shoulders lifted. Breathe. We're almost down to the bottom of our ladder. Lower your head. Lower your shoulders. Single leg. Same precision. Lengthen the leg each time all the way. Good. How's that feel? You feel alive? A little burn is good? Awesome. Okay, let's focus on that pelvic floor now. So find your tabletop here. Still have a little bit of space underneath the lower back. We're going to turn on our pelvic floor here. I know you all know about the pelvic floor, but just to reiterate, the muscle that helps you stop the flow of pee Turn it on here. Can you find it? Now keep it contracted. We're doing 60 seconds, so stay with me. We're already partially there. All you're going to do is breathe. So think of something lovely right now. Think of your baby. Think of a bubble bath. Whatever your happy place is, go there now. And if your legs start to shake, that's okay. This is actually tougher than it looks. Just breathing. Three, two, one. Aha, theme, good. Hug those knees to the chest. Good, all right. Take those knees now back into our tabletop. We're gonna extend both legs out and knees in, lifting the hips off the mat. So reach out in front of you, pull the hips in. Good, exhale into the body. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Good. You're keeping still that little bit of space underneath the low back here. We're still maintaining our S curve. Good. The lower your feet are towards the mat, the harder. We're going to add the arms here. Right after you. Ooh, take a little break. So arms, do a big stretch. Legs stretch out. Bring them both in. Lift your shoulders off the mat and lift the hips. Inhale, reach. Exhale, everything comes in. Inhale, long. You can also send the legs straight up to the sky or the lower to the mat, the more challenging. Uh-oh, here comes Shasta. She's a lover. Y'all can relate. Y'all have pets and kids and babies all trying to get in your business while you're trying to do some yoga. <laughs> Relax, hug the knees to the chest. Oh. 
All right. Come on, roll on over to your belly. Take a much needed break right here. Just a passive stretch. Let your belly fall to the mat. Neck is long. Okay, swing on over to the right hand side. Your bottom hands pushing against the mat as you lift your body up and lower. Okay, let's add the top leg. Lift and lower. So you're pushing into the mat, helping you up, working those side abs. Breathe. Breathe out. In. Exhale. Good, work in our side body strength here and our hips. Good, now hold it up and just leg lifts right here and lift. Awesome, so feet are in parallel. Keep pushing into the ground. Good balance, you're doing great. Good, now bend the knee and extend. Knee, extend. Awesome. So we're strengthening the outer leg. Good patella tracking. Awesome. And lower. Woo. Good. Bend the knees. The feet are right underneath the bottom. And we're going to open the knee, feet together, and close. Now you are your own resistance. You can make this as easy or as hard as you want. So I encourage you to just tighten those muscles, really contract against gravity. Uh-huh, and extend and lower, extend. Good. All of this gets right into the gluteus medius, which is super important for our, you know, healthy knees, healthy back. So much of our posture changes during pregnancy, so all of this is infinitely important. Good. Take that leg, the top leg, place it in front of you, push the knee away. We're just stretching here. Oh, it feels good. All right. Switch to the other side. Good. Hand into the mat. And lift the top body and lower. Add the leg. Good, big exhale. Just go up until you can really feel the muscles tightening. And hold, leg lifts. Good, bring it all the way back up to that hand. You're a queen, you got this. This just reminds me of like Cleopatra, I love it. Good, knee, extend, bent, extend. Point your toes, feel good. You're looking good, you got this. Stay with it. Good. Lowering that leg. Come on down. Bend the knees. Feet are right underneath you. And opening the top leg and lower. Again, you are your resistance. So squeeze it. Good. And next one, we're going to start the knees. Hold it there. And extend and lower. Good. Keep breathing. Looking good. Good. Release. All right. Come on to your bellies again. 
Awesome. We're going to do what I like to call a clock here. So your arms are the clock. So right now we're at 12 o'clock. We're going to lift up our upper body right at 12 o'clock and then lower down. Now your arms move to 1 o'clock and 11. Lift and lower. All right, 2, two and 10. Lift. Awesome. All right, 3 o'clock is next. You're really flying. Four o'clock, focused only on the upper body. Five o'clock. And six. Good, let's add the lower body here. Start at six o'clock again. Six o'clock, lift the leg straight. Five o'clock both. Four. Good, three. Strong back, two, uno, up to the top, yeah, so good, so good. All right, sit back, anytime you do some work on your back, always do the opposite afterwards, so round out that spine. Okay, go ahead, tuck your toes and come on up to a downward dog. Awesome, keep pushing those hips back, heels towards the mat. Take your right leg now, lift it back and bend the knee and just let that leg hang over the left hand side. This is our, our three legged dog with a big hip opener. Reach that right foot back down. Left side lift, kick through the heel, open the hip, bend the knee. Reach it back up and down. Good, step or hop up to the top of the mat. Just hang out here. Do a nice forward fold, release those hamstrings. You can hug your elbows, do a lovely swing. All right, left hand to the right foot. Big reach up to the sky with the right hand. Open the heart. Awesome, other side, right hand to the outside. Left foot, left hand reaches. Doesn't it feel so good to stretch through the back? Release. Roll it on up, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. All right, we're gonna stretch that back a little bit more. So hands push into the low back, and we're gonna do a little waterfall. So imagine you're the water. Look up as you're going up and over the cliff. Keep looking up and back and behind you. Only go back as far as you feel comfortable. You're looking with your eyes, and then the water begins to dry up. So you slowly trickle back up your waterfall to the top of the cliff and then back up onto the creek. Good, do that same thing again. Push into the hips, looking up with your eyes. Your eyes lead the way. Push, push, push. Awesome balance. Good, drawing back up. Very nice. All right, let's work our balance. So find a good balance on your left foot. We're gonna start with our right foot in a tree, so it can be low, it can be calf, just not the knee, it can be up to your thigh. All right, so push down into all the corners of that standing foot. Your hands can be wherever you like them. Just keep lifting through your head. If you had like little puppet strings, lift through the head. Good, hands to heart, send it back through warrior three, push that foot back, and then like a lever, lifting up. Whoo, shake it out. And if you fall, just give yourself a laugh, it's good. Good, other side, find your foot where you like it. Take your branches where you like them. 
you know, yoga, they always call it yoga practice because it's a practice. You know, none of us are perfect. We all fall. Good. Now send it back through warrior three. Uh-huh. And lift. Okay, we need another balance because we are learning this uh, new found body once again. So take your right leg up. You can hang out here. Otherwise, I encourage you to try to extend your right leg. And as you reach forward towards that calf, you're going to get the best stretch in your lumbar spine. Good, but any variations, good. Bring it back. Lower it down. Okay, try that other side. You can hold onto a chair or just go for it. Again, give yourself some a chance to fail if you want. <laughs> chance to experiment. Good, reach towards the calf only if you want to. Some people can touch their forehead to their shin. It's amazing. Something to work for. Good, release. Okay, coming into a warrior two stance, right leg forward, back foot facing the side. Bring those arms up nice and even and strong. Reach forward into our extended angle. Left arm keeps reaching. This time with our right arm, take it off the knee and reach it out in front of you. So you're really supporting your whole self here. Good. Take it up into our reverse warrior. Hand can go behind you, your left arm. Bend at the elbow. Bend that front knee and release. Good. Take both feet facing the front now and take your left hand to the mat or a block or your shin and twist up to the right hand side, radiating that heart sideways. Release. Good. Kick it back through three-legged dog. Come into down dog. Push the heels into the mat. All right. We're going to switch onto our other side. So left foot comes up to the front of the mat. Come into warrior two, spiraling up. Extended angle right away. Big reach. That hand on your knee. Take it up in offering. We're only going to be here a few seconds. Good. Reverse warrior. So your right elbow bends this time behind you. Wonderful. All right. Take your back toe forward and right hand plants on the ground or where you can, on your shin maybe. Left arm twists up. Release. Good. Back through three-legged dog to down dog. Walk it back up to your hands. Hang out here. Good. Now walk your feet back out so they can be um, nice and wide. 45 degree angle and roll up your spine. Lift your hands. Exhale down into a plie. So a plie in second position. Good. So knees are right over the ankles. Toes are pointing out again. And now try lifting the heels. See how that feels like. And again. Just stretching through those metatarsals. Good. Just rock gently side to side. You've got this. We are almost done. Breathe it in. Let's straighten those legs. Arms shoot up. Exhale, let it rain down, goddess arms. Inhale, lift through the front. Exhale, pull your shoulder blades back. Again, inhale up, shoulder blades kiss. One more. Exhale. Good, walk those feet in. Okay, inhale, big reach. Exhale, hands to heart. You did amazing, my friends. I hope you had a great time. I hope you're feeling stronger and just confident. And you have a great, blessed, lovely day. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.